Hey guys, this is Scott. I'm back. I got something for you from Jupiter. Now this is one of the 95 moons Jupiter has. And look at that. This is enhanced by AI and I enhanced its color slightly in my own program so that you could see the true colors rather than just boring black and white. Uh, this was uh, taken by Voyager 1. Yes, the Voyager 1 from Star Trek. Voyager 1 that's still going straight out there with that record of humans on it. Look at this. This is AI on the right and normal NASA on the left. And this is the moon Amathea. Amathea. And it's one of the 95 moons. You know, there's like IO and a bunch of others out there. So look at this moon. Does it look like a moon or does it look like the Star Wars Death Star to you? This looks like a space station to me. Now here we are again with AI version. Here is AI in the left and right are both AI. Now this is the second time I ran it through the AI. I saved it and then I ran it through again. So look at the detail here. Look at the detail. Here we go. See this is the first time and then the second time is on the right. So we ran this object, this photo, through AI twice, and it still came out with pretty decent detail. However, however, I wanted to run it through my own program and see it in uh, infrared. I wanted to see it in um, more colorized. So I did add a little bit more color here in this version. And look at the objects around it. Now, I read many UFO reports, including in Project Blue Book, that... Some of the UFOs that have been seen flying over houses, even landing in people's yards, these big UFOs had little tiny orbs flying all around it like bees flying around a hive. Now, this is what it looks like to me. It looks like these little tiny objects were not made by NASA to make a grid pattern. It looks like the grid pattern was made by the alien UFO moon and these objects, these biomechanical, part biology, part mechanical, uh, are creating a grid to stop Voyager 1 from being, a, if it's a threat or not, to assess. Is this satellite from Earth a threat or not? If it is, we have to destroy it before it, and not let it pass into the area of Jupiter. Wow, I wonder if this happened to uh, Apollo going to the moon. I mean, was there any big grid blocking it or something of tiny UFO protecting it, tiny UFO um, orbs or weapons. This could be a power grid making a force field. It could be weapons to destroy anything it tries to pass. But whatever is going on here, guys, it's just kind of mind-blowing. Look at this moon, the moon Amethelia. Now, the link to this was lost. I'm using originals from my blog and the link is just gone it's just gone i'll put a similar link to the planet io maybe you could check it out and look at it uh it's a different moon different moon and uh it is similar but is is more rounded so i'll put that link in the about description below the video tell me what's going on here is this a NASA grid pattern placed here on purpose? Because none of the none of the little dots are the same. Or is this the mini UFOs protecting, making a grid in front of Jupiter so that Voyager doesn't pass through the Jupiter atmosphere and possibly make a threat towards uh, spreading a virus or something to their planet? Scotty Waring, hit that like and subscribe button. Helps me out tremendously. Have a good week.